Hello and welcome, I am your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to make a mana bar in the UI. Let's begin. So this is the bar we want to create, a simple mana bar with the logic to regenerate and the ability to be able to spend mana so I can spend and the bar regenerates. As you can see the texture is nicely animated, it has a custom border and when it goes up you can see that it has a nice edge image and it vanishes in the end. Alright, so let's get to it. So here we are in an empty scene. Let's go into the canvas to create our bar. So first we create an empty game object. This will be our container. Inside let's have an image for our background. Okay, it's expanded to occupy the home bar size. All right. Now a game object for our bar. And let's tint this in blue. All right, like that. Now in here, I'm going to drag a sprite for this one by one white pixel. It literally is a texture, just a one by one white pixel. Now we are adding this so we can now go into our bar and now we have access to the various image types. So we can swap this from simple and select filled. And here, set it to horizontal and go from the left. All right. So right now we have an extremely simple and easy to use bar. We just change the fill amount in here so as you can see, when it is at 1, it's completely full. When it's at 0, it's completely empty and somewhere in between. So this is the only value we need to change through our code. And finally, let's just add a border. And there it is, our extremely simple bar. All right, so now with the UI setup complete, let's head into the code, make a new C-sharp script. This will be the handler for our mana bar. So in here, let's first go on to our private void awake to grab a reference to our bar image. All right, we have a reference to our bar image. And the way we're going to modify this is simply go and change the fill amount. So for example, in here, let's put it at 0.3 just to test. So here in the editor, all we need is to drag our script and run the code. And yep, there you go. As you can see, the bar is currently 30% film. All right, great. So now back in the code, this is supposed to be a kind of mana bar. So let's write some basic mana code where the mana amount is constantly increasing. So for that, let's put the mana logic in a different class separate from the bar. So in here, I make a public class for our mana. We need a field for the current mana amount. We also need a field for the regen amount. And let's also define a constant for the total. All right, now in here, make a simple constructor. And we just initialize mana amount to zero. And the mana regen amount, let's say 30F. So we're going to regen 30 mana per second. Now let's make a function that will run on update. So we can simply call it update. And in here, we're just going to increase the man amount. So we just do man amount plus equals the man regen amount multiplied by time dot delta time. All right, so just like that, we are increasing the mana amount. Then we need a function to be able to spend some mana. And we're just going to spend it if we do have enough. Okay, and finally a function to get back a normalized value. And here all we do is return the mana amount divided by the mana max. All right, so that's about it. We have a very simple class to handle all the logic for our mana. So now let's use this to test our mana bar. So in awake, let's create a mana object. And here, since this one is mono behavior and is attached to a script, it does indeed have a private void update. And now inside this update, we have to call the mana update. Again, we're doing it separately, so we keep the logic in one class and the visual in another. So this mana class does not depend on this mana bar class. And after we update the mana, we simply go into our bar image and set the fill amount to mana.getManaNormalized. All right, so let's test. 
there's the bar and as you can see it is indeed increasing on every frame all right so far so good now let's add a button to test spending our mana so for that here we are in the mana bar and i'm going to be using the code monkey utilities which as always you can grab for free from unitycodemonkey.com so from those i can go into the cm debug class to create just a very simple button on the ui All right, so this function takes a position for the button, a text for the button, and then an action. And this action is triggered when we click on the button. And when we click, we want to try to spend some mana. All right, so let's test. Okay, here we are, the mana is increasing. There's the testing button. Now if I click on it, I clicked, and as you can see, nothing actually happened. So let's go into our mana class to see why that is happening. And the reason is actually pretty simple. It's that in here on our update, we are increasing the mana amount, but we are not actually capping it. So we are currently letting mana amount go way beyond mana max. So when we spend, we don't actually see it. So in here, all we need to do in here, all we do is clamp our mana amount. All right, so let's try again. There's the bar, it's filling up when it's completely full. And I click on spend mana. Yep, there you go. Now it correctly spent 30 mana. So I can spend several times, but when I get down there, I can no longer spend anymore since I need to have a minimum. Okay, great. So our extremely simple bar is pretty much done. However, this looks pretty boring, so let's polish it up to make it look quite a lot better. So here in the project files, I have a bunch of interesting assets, like for example, in here, our mana bar. Let's replace the bar with our mana bar and put everything in white. Okay, great. For the border, let's replace with our mana border, put it the color in white. Now this border is meant to go on top, so let's drag it to be on top of our bar. Okay, there's our border. Now in here on the border, in this case, it is pretty much scaled to correctly match our bar. However, in order to make it take the exact perfect proportions, we can go into our sprite editor and here we can define the various slices to be able to easily stretch our bar. So we simply drag the top onto there, drag the bottom in there, and drag the side in there, and this side in there. So this way, our sprite will be automatically stretched in the middle bits, but the corners will stay exactly the same. So let's apply. Now on the board, instead of being simple, we simply select sliced. And just like that, you can see that the curves are much more correct. So now let's scale this. All right, so there's our border using proper textures, which makes it look that much better. So let's run this mana bar. And yep, there it is. It looks a lot better. And yep, it is increasing exactly the same and we can still spend and everything still works the same. All right, great. Now, however, this is still a bit too simple. We want our texture to be animated. So let's do that. So in order to animate our texture, instead of using an image, let's remove this. And we're going to instead use a raw image now let's drag our mana bar and while using a raw image we have access to more texture options so in here we are using a sprite but we could also have used a simple texture 2d also with a raw image we could apply a material and do some really interesting shader effects but for now let's simply do a very simple effect which is we want to constantly in here on our uv rect we want to constantly shift the x so that it seems like the bubbles are moving now, as you can see, once I move that, that looks pretty bad. And the reason is because we have to go into the mana bar and here on the rep mode, instead of being clamp, it needs to be repeat. And just like that, everything repeats. So now in here, I can shift the UV rect and there you go. The texture is consistently repeating. Okay, so now let's do this movement through code. So back in our code, first thing we do is comment out the bar image since that no longer exists. Instead, we have a raw image. And here on update, instead of setting a fill amount, we need to modify the UV rect. All right, that should do it. So we grab the UV rect struct that is currently on the raw image. We shift the X to the left side by one per second. And then we simply set the UV rect back into our raw image. So let's see if the texture is consistently moving. 
And yep, there it is, the image is indeed being animated. Now it's moving a bit too fast, but yep, the effect is exactly like this. So now we still need to show the current mana amount. Right now it's just fully filled. Since we can't use a fill amount with a raw image, we need to use a different approach. So in here we're going to use a mask. So here is our mask, we simply created a new game object, added a mask and the image component, and made our bar a child of the mask. So here as you can see the white part is the mask and if we shift the bar on this side as you can see it is no longer visible. Now in order to be able to move the mask let's stop using stretch and use just a regular width and height. Same thing for the inner bar. And we also set the bar to be anchored on the left side. So through code in order to achieve our effect we need to go into our bar mask and in here is our width and we can simply change this and the texture behind it won't be animated as we were doing previously. So all we need is to modify the anchor to the left side and everything should work. There it is, there's the width going down, okay. So let's create this effect through our code. First let's update the position of our raw image which is not like this, but rather find the bar mask and it's inside the bar mask, okay. And we also get a private rec transform for the bar mask. Now in here on the update, we are still animating the raw image. Okay, that remains the same. So we are doing the same thing we were doing previously. We get the bar mass size delta, then we get the bar mana normalized. And then we need to multiply that by the mask width. So let's store it up here. And we grab it from the rec transform size delta dot x. Okay. This way we don't have to write any magic numbers in our code. So you do that and then just get the mana normalized multiplied by the width. And finally we set the size delta back to our modified bar mask size delta. Alright, that's pretty much it. Let's see. And yep, there it is. As you can see, it is increasing and the texture behind it is still animated. So we can spend some mana and there you go. The mana bar goes down, the texture remains animated and everything looks much better than simple solid colors. And here the direction of the effect is very much personal preference since we can simply go into our code and swap from minus equals 0.2 to do plus equals and all of a sudden the texture direction is going in the opposite direction. And there you go. So now let's add one final effect. We're going to add the glow on the edge of the bar. So over here in the project files, I have these glow images. All right, so this is our edge image. Now let's change the position of this the same way we were changing the mask width. So here in the code, let's grab the edge rec transform. And on update, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We set the rec transform dot anchored position. And the X will be the same as the bar mask width. So we copy this and then put it on zero. All right. So that should pretty much be working. Let's see. And yep, there it is. There's the edge image accompanying as the bar gets filled. All right. Now the edge should be hidden if the bar is fully complete. So let's do that. So in here, we can simply do that. That game object set active. And this one is only visible if the mana dot get mana normalized is under one. So if the bar is not completely filled, it should be visible. Let's see. And there it is. The edge is visible. Once it gets to the end, there you go. It vanishes. Now I spend some mana. There's the edge again. Goes up and vanishes. All right. Great. Now let's add the final effect, which is to make the edge animated.
right, so here is a simple animation. We just had the two individual edge images. And now in here, I just have a simple animation, changing the alpha and moving it a bit. And here in the edge, it has an animation component with that animation. Okay, so let's see. And yep, there it is, the final effect with a nice animation going up. And when it gets to completely full, it hides itself. So I can spend some mana. And there it is, the mana bar is filling up gets filled and completely empty and just like that I cannot spend if I don't have enough and yep it's regenerating and so on and so forth. So there you have it, we created a mana bar that displays a current mana amount that we can spend and regenerates over time. We add a nice animation to the bar as well as a glow on the edge making it look very nice. As always you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.